why not come and visit here for a fun day out? We are on the A153 between Horncastle and Sleaford in Lincolnshire. One of the largest parish churches in the county, Holy Trinity is part of the Bain Valley group of churches and stands adjacent to the impressive, red brick built medieval Tattersall Castle. 600 years ago, Holy Trinity Church and the castle were built by the fabulously wealthy Baron Ralph Cromwell, Lord High Treasurer to King Henry VI. A visit to Tattershall is a great day out with lots to see for all ages. And between Easter and September, our Heritage Centre Cafe in the nave attracts over 35,000 visitors for coffee and homemade cakes. Bells ring out to call people to our Sunday Eucharist. Although most visitors are also coming to see the oldest brick-built castle in the county, alongside the church, the National Trust's Tattershall Castle. Our church is open every day and visitors enter through the porch with a working wicket gate. People tell us they are surprised by the huge perpendicular architecture and sheer size of the nave when they come in. The internal height is incredible and Holy Trinity Collegiate Church is well worth a visit for its architectural value alone. To see all the architectural shots on our Holy Trinity Collegiate Church, visit our website. Holy Trinity Church was delighted to welcome His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales in March 2018. His Royal Highness visited our church after the castle, towards the end of a day spent in Lincolnshire. Our vicar, the Reverend Sue Allison, welcomed Prince Charles and introduced him to church wardens, the ministry team and the trustees of the Arms Houses Association. A tour of the church followed, which proved that Prince Charles was very interested in the extensive bat population resident in the nave. Also, a recent edition, Tatty Bat, a children's book, a copy of which was presented to the Prince for Prince George. Prince Charles also viewed the Lady Chapel and the large brasses of medieval figures locked in the north transept. Finally, Prince Charles had a cup of tea with the ladies who run the Heritage Centre. One said afterwards, I wish I'd saved the cup, but we washed up everything ready for the public. Holy Trinity Collegiate Church is doing great work in conserving wildlife. Our church is an extremely important habitat where one of the largest colonies of bats in any inhabited building have their maternity roosts. Bat experts tell us they have been here since medieval times when the church was built. By welcoming and preserving our bat colony, we make an important contribution to their survival. We humans use the church by day. The bats come out and swirl away to hunt for food by night. For lovers of old churches and people who come for the architecture, the chancel is a fantastic glimpse into a place of worship where, when built, no expense was spared. The chancel is shut off behind a carved stone screen and door. Here is where we celebrate weddings, baptisms and funerals. In the chancel is the great east window, containing all this church has left of its breathtakingly beautiful gothic glass. All medieval scenes of acts of mercy, sacraments, assembled sunbursts, famous figures and angels, enclosed in frames of drooping purses. Probably purses, because chimneys in Tattishall Castle are repeatedly carved with a loaded purse encircled with bay leaves. This purse was the badge of Baron Ralph Cromwell, Lord High Treasurer to King Henry VI. It's a good day out. And while here you can visit our other churches at Coningsby, Kirby on Bain and Rutan. Come and enjoy a day out in September when the popular Open Churches Festival is held. We at Holy Trinity had lots of visitors to the special weekend this last year, 2018. The theme was Remembrance. And here are photos of Holy Trinity and Care Beyond Bain, where they knitted 1,000 poppies and had a stunning remembrance display. 
We have had a wedding theme, which proved that some people still love to get married at an altar in a church. All our open days are complemented by the Heritage Centre Cafe with lots of coffee and cake and stalls selling bric-a-brac and books. We have a service every Sunday, but imagine the spectacle when the castle and church combine for our annual candlelit carol service. Music, mulled wine and mince pies with a torchlit procession to the church from Tattishall Castle get the festivities started. Banner Val and Brass played and then the gathering settled down with lights dimmed and only candles lit for the service. Led by David and Sheila Mullingan, there were carols and readings and a beautiful song from one of the ministry team, Lynn Hawkins. Children sang Away in a Manger and other carols, their lovely young voices sounding beautiful in the vastness of the nave. The Reverend Sue Allison, our vicar, gave the blessing and wished everyone a joyous Christmas. In the presence of the Lord is pleasure evermore. Peace and joy are here in the worship of the Kingdom of God. There are quiet corners like the Lady Chapel where reflection and prayers bring us to the heart of God. Holy Trinity, Collegiate Church and the adjacent Tattershall Castle are a day out to remember.